Hey, what's going on guys? Jerry Gleam back on the scene here with another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing y'all how to download and import drum kits into FL Studio. So let's hop right in and get to it. So the first thing you wanna do is find drum kits that you wanna download. For me, you can just, you can do a simple Google search. You can look on Reddit. I'm right here on theproducersplug.com. They got a bunch of free sound kits. So wherever you wanna download your drum kits from, um, that's up to you. So I'm gonna come up here to the top under free sound kits and go to free producer kits. And I'm gonna download the Mac Miller drum kit. All right, so it's gonna pull you up right here and you can just click download up in the top right. So if you see at the bottom left of my screen, it's downloading a zip folder. What you wanna do is you wanna drag that to your desktop, right click, extract all, and it's going to extract them on into another folder on your desktop. Okay, as you see here, I've got the extracted folder. It's got some 808, some claps, hi-hats, kicks, perks, snares, um, vocal samples. Now you wanna copy this drum kit and paste it wherever you have all your other drum kits. So for me, I have a folder called drum kits that I hold all of my drum kits in. So I'll right click and paste. And there you go, you can see that I have the Mac Miller drum kit under my drum kit folder. So now that I'm in FL Studio, I can go to options, file settings so right here is where you're going to create that file path for fl studio to find all of your drum kits so i already have mine set up under documents drum kits so in order to create a file path you just click on the folder icon right here and you find wherever it is on your computer that you saved that drum kit folder i'll go to this pc and then i have it on my ssd storage my d drive jeremiah documents and right here drum kit so if i click on the drum kits right here that's going to create a file path for fl studio to find all of my drum kits but as you see already right here i already have that file path created over here on the left if you click on drum kits you'll see that the mac miller folder is under drum kits so the file path um, worked correctly so a quick tip is you can go through all of your drum kits and find your favorite sounds and then copy and paste those into a new folder so that way you have quick access to your favorite sounds when you're making beats this will increase your workflow and just make things work a little bit more efficiently all right guys that's it for the video if you have any questions please leave a comment and i'm going to get back to you as soon as i can i'll see y'all in the next video